Thus far, we've evaluated the performance of our models based on how they performed across all our examples. But sometimes, great overall performance doesn't tell the whole story. Let's take a look at one example. Imagine a university that admits between 10 and 20 new students into its graduate computer science program each year. Hundreds of people apply to this program hoping to get one of these slots. To help the admissions committee select qualified candidates, a group of CS students currently in the program trained a model on historical student records. When they evaluated their classifier against the test set, it predicted whether a student was qualified with high precision and accuracy rates. Happy with the results, the committee deployed the model to make admissions decisions for the upcoming year. But right before decisions were sent out, they received a concerning email from the head of admissions suggesting there might be a problem with the classifier's predictions. The admissions committee took a closer look at their model's predictions, but this time they split them out by demographic group. Qualified students in the majority group were nearly twice as likely to be admitted to the program as students in the minority group. The admissions committee was puzzled. These decisions were made by an algorithm. Shouldn't they have been objective? How did this bias arise? 